Hey YouTube, it's ICU2, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the alpha version of Pro Switcher HD on your iPad. So, alpha comes before beta, so obviously this still has a bunch of bugs that it needs to have worked out. So, I'm just going to demo it for you guys by backgrounding a couple applications here. And I'm going to background this one as well. And then I'm going to background iTunes. And now I'm going to bring up Pro Switcher. So as you can see, this is what it is. It gives you a little preview of every single thing you have open that's backgrounded. And to exit out of a backgrounded app, all you have to do is just slide up or hit the little X. So now I'm going to slide up for this one. And to go to it, just tap on it. And there you go. So I'm going to show you how to get this really quick. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be jailbroken, obviously. And you're going to have to open up Cydia. Then once inside a city, you're going to go to the Manage tab at the bottom, Sources, Edit, Add. So then you're going to add this repo, R-P-E-T-R-I dot C-H forward slash repo forward slash. Now it's very important that you put the forward slash after the repo, otherwise it will not work. Then once you've added it, just go into it, and it's the second out of two things. It's just Pro Switcher, and it says it's 1.2 Alpha. So just click Install, Confirm, and then once you've installed it, it's going to prompt you to respring. So I'm going to respring just to show you guys what it says after you've installed it. Okay, so now I'm back, and as you can see, it says Pro Switcher Alpha. It says if debugging is the process of removing software bugs, then programming must be the process of putting them in. And then it gives the developer's name or whatever. And then it says, please help us get the bugs out. So if you find a bug, just click report bug. And then it'll bring you up to their website. And then you can report a bug. But I'm not going to do that right now. And it also gives you the choice to continue. So now I'm going to go over a couple quick settings. So basically to access the settings, just go to the settings app. Scroll down. And then just go to Pro Switcher. And then activation methods. You can pick your activation method there, obviously. Become the home screen disabled. I do not like that because otherwise you'll find yourself accidentally tapping applications if you want to get out of it. And then show icon. I have that on just because it shows the icon of uh, Pro Switcher, I guess. And then show badges. It means it shows badges for the displayed backgrounded applications. Zoom active card means it zooms in on the active one. So I'm going to turn that on because I want that. Close button, I'm going to turn that off because I just want the swipe up to exit. And then empty tap to close, like if you tap outside of the card that uh, you're currently on, then it'll just exit out of it. And rounded corners, I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to turn it to large. And then empty style text, I'm just going to leave it blank, just because I prefer blank. And then cards visible, I'm going to just leave that at 3 because the iPad has a bigger screen. And then taps to activate. I'm just going to leave that at 1 as well. That just applies for the icon. And then theming. Themed icons on. Show doc on. Dim background on. Background style transparent. I'm just going to leave it at transparent. And then I'm going to exit and show you guys some of the changes. And I'm just going to activate it. And as you can see it has some pretty cool rounded corners. And it's a little bit bigger. And if I open up a couple other things. And if I open up a couple other things and background them as well, you will see that the active one will be zoomed in in comparison to the, all the other ones. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of zooms in on the active card. It kind of brings it forward. And if I turn it portrait mode, it takes up the whole screen and it orients them differently depending on what the main orientation of the app is. So, yeah, guys, this is just an awesome app. I recommend you all get it if you have an iPad. I definitely think it's better than Circuitous. And, yeah, guys, this is ICU2 signing out.